Hey everyone, it's Ashley, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be doing a little head-to-head -head competition. I'm going to be trying out the new Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder, and I'm putting that up against the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. So I'm gonna see which one wears best, which one doesn't dry me out, and which one sets my concealer the best. So the Huda Beauty powder retails for $34. I did get this in the shade Cupcake, which is sort of a light pinky shade. I wasn't sure whether to get it in that shade or Sugar Cookie, which was sort of a translucent neutral color from Fair to Tan Skin Tones, but I wanted to get something that was exclusively for fair skin in hopes that it would work really well. This guy is 0.71 ounces, so that's pretty big for a setting powder. Now the Hourglass setting powder is a bit more bougie. This guy is $46, but it's got four and a half stars on Sephora.com and I had to try it. And this one is only 0.36 ounces, so it's half the amount you get in the Huda Beauty, which sucks. All right, so I'm just gonna dive in. I've got my damp beauty blenders. Each one is getting their own beauty blenders, so my results are not skewed. So I'm just gonna start off with my Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer in the shade Snow. I'm just gonna lay it down and blend out each side with their respective beauty blender. All right, now on the right side, I am going to use a Huda Beauty powder. It does come with a nice sort of seal to it that you can continue to put back on. It has a mesh screen, which I really, really like. It sort of sifts your product and makes it even more finely milled. All right, so I'm just gonna dip in and set under my right eye. Ooh, this does have like a bit of a perfume scent to it, but it's not too bad. Okay, and while we give that a minute, I'm gonna go to the hourglass, and I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get. This one comes in just a little sifter that's in the shape of an H, and I guess I'll just put some in the lid and grab from it that way. All right, now I'm gonna kick off the excess. And just for starters, let's see what I've got. They both look really, really nice. I'm trying to see if I could even tell a difference. I feel like the Huda Beauty has just a bit more like coverage. That pinky tone in the powder sort of counteracted a little bit of my purple and blue under eye. So far, nothing settling in my crease, but that's something that I'm gonna have to come back and do a check-in and let you guys know how it's going. But so far, they both set nice. It doesn't feel heavy or anything like that. It feels like very airbrushed and it looks very airbrushed. All right, I will come back in a few hours and give you all an update as to who won. All right, it has been a few hours and this stuff is still looking really, really good. I feel like they both crease just a tiny bit, but I don't think I've ever really had a setting powder that hasn't creased. I feel like the Huda Beauty creased just a little bit more, but it's like very, very minuscule. So if you are trying to decide between one or the other, for the price point, I would go with the Huda Beauty. You're getting twice as much and paying about $8 less. But if you love some bougie stuff, this Hourglass setting powder is still really, really awesome. All right, so it's kind of a toss up with Huda versus Hourglass. If I had to choose one, God, I don't know. I, I really can't choose one. I liked the coverage and how the Huda Beauty brightened up my under eye, but I like how really smooth the hourglass made my under eye look. So I guess I would leave it totally up to you guys. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now go have yourself an awesome day.